So good morning. Today we're going to talk about the uh, the writing techniques and steps in our third meeting of Introduction to Business English. Now, what are we going to cover for this meeting? Is that the uh, we're going to talk about the materials first. So we're going to mainly talk about the materials found on the Harvard Business what is it series, the red one. The chapter one is basically similar to what we studied last time, uh, but you can look at the case studies, those things that were put in boxes. They're quite fun to read, and and I always tell you to start reading on some business-related uh, material, and I think those can make uh, quite an interesting reading. And also on this red book, the chapter two and three, on how to start writing. Now, we're going to focus on chapter 2 this time, and as an alternative, you can read the HBR series, Harvard Business Review series, on the, like, the book that we used the last time, which is the blue cover, on chapter 3 and 4, the four concepts. So, you can read this for extra grade. I will give a special assignment that is optional to be done. You don't have to do it, but if you do it, you will get extra grades. Now, generally, what we are doing uh, all this time, the meeting two and three, is that we focus on the writing uh, aspect of business English. That said, uh, why do we need to study this? As I said before, this has something to do with our online classes. And also, it is to get you start writing on emails and letters, you know, a general introduction, and especially for the final assignment, which I will require you to write a report and then to do a presentation on it. So let me just talk uh, a bit about the final assignments. There is no midterm exam. There is no final exam in this class, in my class. In place of those two things, I will want you to uh, do two final assignments. Why? Because I'm a jerk. Now, uh, the first final assignment will be for you to write a summary, which is, I think, is pretty straightforward. And I have talked about this before. The second final assignment is for you to write a report. It is not supposed to be very long. Yes, it is supposed to be more uh, popular writing, article popular article writing and not like a college level business class requirement so it's supposed to be fun report <laughs> and then you will do some presentation on it now before we go to the chapter 2 of the uh, red book I, I will explain first about the final assignment because I need you to start working on it uh, as soon as possible so for this first part of the video i will talk about the final assignment and the second part i will focus on the chapter two and a bit about chapter three on both of the books the red book and the blue book now let us continue with the final assignment now final assignment two presentation you need to write a report on one of these possible topics that i give you the first is how a popular product succeed enormously or fail miserably. Uh, we don't want to do a very critical analysis of this kind of stuff. We just want, uh, like I said in the previous meeting, you need to read a lot of business related material. Now, usually on business English class, uh, the participants of those classes are people who are already engaged in business. Unlike, unlike most of us right now, we, we are students, we are English students, language students. But commonly, those who take business English, like uh, what I did uh, when I teach in the economics faculty years ago, is that those are economics students or that they are businessmen and they want to learn English. So you're in the a bit of an opposite place here. 
and we want to uh, at least get used to the business English because we're, we're not focused on, on economics or business. So I want you to review or to talk about a popular product that really succeed or really fail. <laughs> Just so the discussion is a more lively, more fun, so to say. The second topic you can do is that uh, talk about a field of employment for graduates of your language major. Now, <clears throat> for the first topic, the example would be, for example, you can talk about iPhones, how Steve Jobs did a great job with, with marketing smartphones back in 2003-2004, while the uh, market was basically dominated by cell phones. You know those those phones with like Nokia stuff like that that have small uh, what you call that small screen and big buttons. How we change from those kind of uh, Nokia phones to what we call now smartphones, from cell phones to smartphones. Now that will be a good discussion. Now that's just one of the example of topic A. Topic B would be. Uh, there are a lot of fields that you can cover. One will be uh, English education. Uh, like it or not, even if you're in the literature department, probably the first job you'd get is to teach uh, small kids, you know, kids from senior high or kids from uh, lower levels who need English uh, lessons. Uh, that is a possible employment. There's also tourism. There's also translation, and I need you to write a report on those fields of employment. This is this has a, a very practical use in that when you graduate, you would probably work on these fields. And the last possible topic is to talk about a presently, that is a currently, very successful business enterprise within five years. Now, I don't want you to talk about how Wells Fargo, for example, became become the most successful business in the Wild West in the 16th or 17th century. <laughs> we need to talk about the current business climate. That is my point here. Now, you can talk about Apple, for example, or you can, you can talk about Microsoft, you can talk about Facebook, you can talk about Uber, or you can talk about uh, GoFood, or go grab or something like that. How can they put a ministry? Uh, how they can conquer a ministry, <laughs> so to say. So we want to have a, a very current discussion, yes? Not something very historical. And after writing a report, I want you to give a recorded presentation in the form of a video. Now, I didn't write it here, but the video is supposed to be uh, no more than 20 minutes of recording. I'm saying between 15 to 20 minutes per, per group. So this is a group assignment, yes. And then, after sharing the report and the video recorded presentation, you and your group are uh, required to maintain a discussion forum of your presentation for one week. So people will ask questions on this forum, people not from your group, and you and your group will answer those, basically. Kind of uh, do some interaction with the other people who are not uh, presenting. Now let's go to the details. When is the presentation time? It is between meeting 9 and 11, and 15, sorry. All group must submit their written reports drafts on meeting 8. Your group will be assigned a deadline for submitting the finished written report and video presentation. Note that there may be more than one group per meeting that is presenting because we do it online. So I don't think there will be a significant problem with that. So, for example, you get to be assigned to meeting 9 to share your written report and to share your video. There may be th two one or two other groups who are also doing that in the same meeting. So for those meetings, probably the weekly assignment is going to be a bit lighter, to be a bit easier if it is possible. So you will be more focused on the forums. 
uh, and then you'll be assigned a week between meeting 9 to 15 to share your report and video presentation and one week to maintain your forum so it is possible for me to change the weekly assignment to just uh, interacting on your forums so you will become uh, you will maintain a forum where you share your report and video and people will ask questions, people will comment or, or people will give you inputs or feedbacks and you will have to interact with them. So I will grade the inter interaction and put that as your grade for the final assignment. So basically not only that you make a report and a video but you also maintain a forum and all of those will be graded. Now, the content for the report and presentation, uh, we will start this next week. For next week, you read chapter 20 of the HBR Blue, of the Blue Book, to give you an idea, a quick idea on how to write. What do you need to put on your written report? Uh, you can just describe things, like for example, let's take an example of iPhones. You take iPhones as a topic for your uh, presentation. You describe what iPhone is, how is it successful, and how it changes the whole mobile industry, mobile communication industry. Now, if you can provide an evaluation with suggestions, for example, uh, iPhone should be doing a b c d right now because they're losing a lot of consumers now that is more than just description and i will give you extra grades for it or if you choose for example uh, another suitable topic uh, for persuasive report there uh, for example you're trying to persuade us that the uh, field of employment that is the best for language students is in the politics which is not a not not a bad uh, not a bad suggestion but if you can pers write a persuasive report on that you will earn more grades than just describing how uh, the political uh, parties are your best bet for an ex for an employment for example now i put this 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 to other examples there. For example, if you write Blackberry was failing, it should have done blah blah blah. So if you write it like that, I will consider it as an evaluation. It should have done something, something, something. This requires more research. That is why I give you an extra grade. Or opening a translation center is the best job for us because this is persuasive. And I will give you extra uh, great because you will need more uh, research more material than just saying that translation center is the best job a b c d you just describe but you don't try to persuade now we want to look back at our writing skills that we studied uh, in the previous semesters how to write a persuasive essay how to write a, a good explanatory uh, evaluation and I would invite you to go back to that for, for, for more details on how to write. The sources for this uh, report and video presentation should be popular articles, popular videos. A lot of videos in YouTube talk about this. iPhones, Blackberries, you know, a lot of uh, business-oriented channels on YouTube. Uh, magazines such as uh, Business Insider, if you can find find the print, or you can find those things on on online. Yes, just make sure that they are recent, and make sure that you mention those sources. Otherwise, it will be plagiarism, and it can bring a very bad result if you look like you plagiarize stuff. And also, we will discuss the report and presentations on the next meetings after the emails and the business uh, letters. That is on meetings 5 to 7. Uh, for next week, I will want, want you to get a group and also set a topic. And also, you submit this on meeting 8. Yes. 
and before meeting eight you can still change your topics you can still change your group now we will go on details for that in a bit now for the discussion forums basically you open an online forum uh, previously i meant to do this on sipajar but i don't know if i can do it like right now <laughs> because sipajar is on maintenance last time uh, if not we may we may use edmodo or google classroom those are my options and i will set this by at least meet, meeting eight i will i will announce that basically you open an online forum where you share the presentation and invite your friends to discuss your topic and presentation for one week presenters will maintain the forum for a week each member each member this is individual grading will be graded on their activity on that forum answering any questions replying ex giving explanation accepting input feedback or refusing if you have a good grounds to do so from other people who are not presenters people who are not presenters will be graded based on how they interact with the presenters they can ask questions giving constructive comments input feedback or criticism i invite you to work with your group if you have difficulties for example you're not very good in english you're not very diligent <laughs> you can always arrange with your groups to to discuss together whether it is how to answer or who should answer or who should ask and what to ask please work with your group therefore i will advise you to choose group members or group mates who can work well with you because they can cover for your uh, weaknesses and you can also help them so a, a good group cooperation is very much advised if you want to get the maximum grades now the grading details for this is that for the written report how is it organized does it have enough information is it simple like we talked about last time we want a simple clear uh, an informative piece of business writing as you try to persuade or evaluate the persuasion or evaluations give more grades video presentation does each member contribute enough so do you take turns in explaining or is it just one person explaining I'm, I'm fine with that you know but that will affect your group uh, grading group and individual is it informative does the visual contribute to the explanation? We will talk about the presentation more on the next meetings, meetings five to seven. And for forum discussion, for the groups who are presenting, does every mom member contribute or is it only just one person who is active? Do they interact well? Do you, do you, do you get angry easily or can you take uh, constructive criticism? And for those people who are not presenting, does every member give questions, comment, or criticism? Do they do this well? Now, I will give you points for each of your interaction, 5 to 15 per interaction. Uh, if you're, for example, you, you ask a question to the presenting group, and you have a very simple question, like, for example, what is the title of your presentation? Now, that's a, that's a question, yeah, but it's a stupid question. <laughs> <clears throat> so I might not give you any points for it and I will just write there yeah in the in the forum uh, how much point you got so I will for example after you ask that uh, silly question you know I'll say zero points for that <laughs> but if you ask a bit more a uh, smarter like for example why do you choose this topic now that is a that is a better question than the previous one. What is your topic? Why do you choose that topic? Sounds like a better question. But most likely the presenters already give you an explanation for this. So I cannot consider that a good question. And I will just give you five points for that question. Now, if you give a very intelligent question, for example, why do you choose that topic? Knowing, for example, the topics about uh, iPhones, knowing that iPhones are not relevant to this current business climate and that their market share has gone has going has been going down for the rest three years you know and i just make that up i don't know if that is true or wrong uh, but it's just uh, as an 
illustration at this point. Now that question might give you a 10 or 15 points. So it depends on what kind of interaction. Also, the kind of answers that you give your presenters. If you give a very short question, basically, uh, it will usually give you less point than you give a, a full-blown explanation. You know, a very complete explanation will give you the better points. Now, each of you required to at least have 70 points total when you are the presenters or when you're not doing the presenting while in the forum discussion. Less than that, and you will get C or uh, I think C, yeah, C plus for less than that. To, to pass, you will require at least a B minus and 70, I think, is, is, is a B minus. So if you get, for example, 80 points or more than that, I can give you an A. If you get, I don't know, around 90 probably, 90 points up, I can give you an A minus or an A more than 90. So uh, you will keep track of those points and I will do so too. And I will let you know if you have uh, less than required points. Now you will get se two separate grades for the assignment. Your group grade will be on the written report and the presentation. I'll give you a group grade for that because you need to work in group. The individual grade, however, will be given on the discussion forum so you need to be individually active at this uh, discussion forum however you can still work with your group to come up with questions or to answer those questions and who should answer and who should uh, give explanations and after that each of you will be asked to fill up a peer grading form to assess your group mates performance i understand that sometimes it always happens that when you have a group work, one or two people just don't want to work. So I will, uh, to, to make our, my judgment or my grading to be fair, I will give you uh, a chance to tell me privately, each of you, uh, how that group work went. Example, you're a very diligent and you're a very smart student. But you happen to choose bad group mates. Therefore, your written report and presentation got bad grades because it just not did it did not went well because of that. Now, if you talk to me about that problem using the peer grading form, I can work with it, you know, and I, and I can improve your grades if you tell me honestly now if you cover everything up and say everything is good sir everything we work together well because you have such a good friendship uh, well that friendship will give you a friendship bonus but not grading bonus <laughs> that is to say i don't know what's happening if you tell me everything worked well and you have a very bad report and presentation which shows that you have uh, you have problems but you do not tell me now how on earth could I know that? Therefore, I cannot give you any help with your gradings, and I will just say that you have bad grades, even though uh, the problem lies on the group work and not on yourself. So this is a way of letting me know if, if you have problems with your group works. Other than that, you can also contact me directly if you have troubles with the materials and deadlines. For example, something happened technical or uh, otherwise, you know, uh, one of your members suddenly, you know, got problems with his love life and he cannot uh, perceive any advantages of coming to you and do this group work. <laughs> you tell me about it. Yeah, and we can still work it out. Now, assignment for the next week is for each of you to make a group made up of three people four people with my special permission decide on two possible topics and write that in a in a MS Word file containing your full name full name lists and your uh, numbers list of your group mates and list two possible topics so obviously one group submit only one you know not each one of you but only one group one file 
By next week, send the file to my email address. You can find that in the course profile. Uh, the subject of that email must be IBE group offering, and you put your offering there. For example, you're from offering A. IBE group offering A. That is, that's the subject. Why do you need specific subject like this? Because my inbox will be full with other assignments from other classes. If I do not see your email, uh, I do not think that you have submitted, and the effect will be on you. <laughs> so please use the correct subject for your emails. Now, the name of the file should be IBE. Uh, there's a dash there group dash choose one of your first uh, the first name one of the first name of your members it could be you it could be someone someone else just one just one not all three of you or four of you example ibe group herdit if it is my group yeah and i'm one of the member so i think that's all for for, for this part in the next part i will talk about the material for this class, for this meeting, which is uh, starting your writing, especially in this case, on your report and your business letters and emails. Thank you.